Welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons Ravenloft Part 2, The Stone Prophet. When we last left off, ah, we were trying to figure this out. Why don't you try blowing into that whistle again? Again? I've already done it twice. But if it will make you feel better, enjoy the ear-piercing sounds. The call. The call! The whistle sounds and I awake. Where? Where are you, my master? From where have you called? We have called you, beautiful one. The golden whistle is in our possession. You are not my master, no. The whistle you have, my heart is my own. Oh, my master, how I have waited for your call. Oh, my master, do you permit still the old vow? The old vow, what mission of honor does your master follow? As I am a bird of war, so my master followed the ways of battle. So mm -hmm. long ago. He was a hero, my master, a true warrior. When they spoke of the greatest soldier in all the land, it was of him they spoke. In time, the pharaoh rewarded him. My master joined the royal guard and swore to protect the pharaoh with his life. And yet, yet he failed. Hmm. Did he die in service of Anctipot? No, my master suffered not a single wound. Mm. The great priest of Ra, the Hierophant, made his way past my master with the stealth of a shadow. With the silence of night, the Hierophant stepped within the royal chambers. Anctipot met his fate at the fall of the Hierophant's blade. Impressive. A cleric was able to use a uh, dagger and was able to uh, hide in shadows. Shh, we're not supposed to bring game mechanics into this. All right. Your master must have felt great shame at his failure to protect Anctipot. Shame? Great shame. Yet my master swore that if he could not guard Anctipot in life, he would do so in death. He sacrificed mm -hmm. his heart. The vessel of his spirit and soul cast it into the desert. Forever now, my master guards the way to Anctipot's burial chamber. He is but a stony shadow of himself, as was I. None shall pass that way, now or ever, until the heart of my master is once again returned to him. Uh-oh, this sounds like a fetch quest. You have read of some of the history of which you speak. Can nothing beyond the heart of your master open the door he guards? No. Only my master's heart shall free him from the oath he swore. Only its return can release him from service to this evil lord. Once the heart rests again within him, he shall be free. Free to pass beyond the gate of the dead, and me with him. I see. You said your master's heart was cast into the desert. In such heat and windblown sand, how might it be found? It would take the eyes of... Of... Yes, it would take the eyes of a hawk. Or a falcon. Thank you for freeing me from the stone, my friend. Now I might soar again. Feel the heat of the desert beneath my wings turn high in rising air. I shall climb above the yellow sands where nothing can escape my sight. Somewhere among the lizards, among the insects, among the turning tides of sand, I shall find it. If you return with your master's heart, beautiful one, how will you restore it to him? I depend on you. Having freed me from the stone, having heard the tale of my faithful master, you will help. I know you will. Place the heart in that space from which it has been torn. Free my master from his oath to Antipat. On the bright side, um, he's a very quick eagle. Because we already have the hero's heart. Yeah, that's, uh... The only unusual one is that one. I wish there was a, uh... Secret door so that we didn't have to deal with that lightning trap. But... Now we are back here, and now 
We're essentially in the second to last room of the game. A very large floor. I guess, yeah, not room, but floor. And we're coming across another s a number of stone golems. Yes, this is, uh, this is gonna take a bit. That it is. That it is. I think my dagger got, uh, trapped by one of these things. Hmm. Dagger of throwing would be super handy about now. Summon insects, worthless. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I am an idiot. Yes, Yansu, yes you are. <laughs> I'm not gonna live this one down. No, no you are not. I figured it as much. And let's see, up here we've got some potions of fire resistance. Probably very useful. Also, I don't think we're going to need that mask anymore. Over here is going to be another stone golem. Clear out all of this area. think we really need any more of those. Yes, I agree. Water skins, I'll just drink them. Sounds like a fine plan. All right. Well, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Well, hello, Death's Heads. I still don't like those things. I can totally understand that, Hraktu. I can totally, totally understand that. And we've got a whole lot of places filled with poison. Great. Let's see. <coughs> Just a little bit of a spinny spin. Not that <coughs> much of an issue. Oh. But that leads back into the poison, and I don't feel like dealing with that. Well, it should have been expected we'd come across these things soon. Yeah. Ow. Which 
Would you like a healing potion? I would. Good. We've got plenty. Would you like some water? I would indeed. Good. And why don't you drink up? The world's about to end. Okay. So much fire. Okay. Just to indicate this is the direction we want to go. Um... Actually, yeah, let's have everyone swallow an air spore just in case we accidentally go into one of those uh, places full of um, poison. So that should have, yep, air spore. The hero and the falcon. Death moves past the gods of Anctopot's chamber. It was a shadow so quick that the god nor his trained falcon caught the sight, uh, not felt the shifting of the still air, neither heard the footfalls step so light they were as dust settling in the night. Shamed by his failure, the hero vowed that if he could not protect the pharaoh in life, he would do so in death. The sacrifice was arranged, exhausting the hero's courage, and transformed his very being. His heart, the vessel of the spirit, was cast into the desert, lost amid the trackless sands. His body transformed, forging itself as one element with the door to Anctopot's chamber. It is a door none shall uh, pass until the spirit of a hero is returned to him. Well, I suppose that means we take this literally. Yep. And over here, we have the final Anctopot's seal quarter. And there, the gong to summon Anctopot. Now, if we were an idiot, we'd summon Anctopot right now. But we are only mostly an idiot. And what we are going to do is head back all the way down here. And before we summon the mummy, we set up the way out of here. And it's this one that's safe, right? Yeah. Uh. Aside from some spinnies, uh. which are easy enough to uh. overcome. Okay. Let's, um... Let's save before we get too crazy, because this, um, this seems like, uh, pretty world-ending stuff. Octopus. 
Ah! Uh, yes, we need to move quickly. And I don't know what was going on earlier, but none of us are dead just yet. No, but we seem to be uh, very quickly coming to the point where we might be. And this is true. Although... And fortunately... We're going to have to... Lead Anctopot with us. This is not going to be fun, is it? No, no, I cannot imagine it to be. First off, um, the mummy is very slow. Yansu? Uh... That's not encouraging. No! <laughs> That was... Ah! I think we are uh, a bit too close to... Um, the person with the death touch. Oh! See, now you know how it feels. Shut up. Let's, uh, heal up a little bit. Hi. Okay, we're, uh, still dragging him. Would you stop doing that? Sorry. Okay. Come on. Yep, there you're coming. It's really hard to see you with all of these pixels, but... Here you're coming. Okay, that's just a fireball. That totally fine. Throw as many fireballs as you want against me. We just don't want to get within... Uh, melee distance from Anctopod. Okay, come on. That wasn't ideal, but... Is that you? Okay, yep. Totally fine. Totally fine. Throw a knife. Come on, keep getting closer. Thank you. Ah, this is not going to be fun. Well, this is why we've kept all of these potions. Yes, this is definitely why we have. And all the scrolls of Ray's dead. I am definitely going to need some help with my constitution when this is over with. Absolutely. That was what, four times he got you? 
It felt like that. Okay, come on. You still want to have at me us? This video might be going a bit long because, yeah, this boss battle is just... Well, it's not really a battle. It's, um... We're just, uh, kind of kiting this guy. Which, um... I apologize, is not, uh, terribly exciting, but, hey. That does no effect. Yes, I would imagine his immortality is complete. Okay. Alright, you've gotten nice and close. Oh, God! Um... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Um... Useless. Useless. Very useful. Very useful as well. But, more pressingly... Okay, so, um, remember when I said this wasn't particularly exciting? <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, fireball's fine. Just don't do another, like, <laughs> giant thing that takes out my entire party. Are you all okay? No, I am not okay! Ugh. Let's hit that with a cone of cold and just get rid of it. God. That's... Everyone who can use clerical magic. I, uh... Oh God. It's just down to me now, isn't it? This, um... Don't need giant strength. Definitely could use haste. Speed wore, wore off already? Yeah, unfortunately, as a, um... Mage, Yansu only has access to Arcane Scrolls, so... He can't raise dead. I don't think. Spell is aborted. 
Well, I can, uh... Light is worn off. That's... Part of the helm of brilliance. Oh! Uh... Well, if you ever want to know what the, uh... Game over screen of this is... So, when we come back, um, yeah, dealing with Anctipot. See you then. <laughs>